The 12 volt chassis battery is also known as the starter battery and one you're familiar with already because we all drive some kind of regular automobile. Every RV setup has a starter, AKA chassis battery. Of course, the motorhome will have a starter battery and even a travel trailer or fifth wheel has one because it's connected to the tow vehicle or truck. The chassis battery voltage is important to our RV setup because it provides 12 volts DC power to the RV while traveling down the road. The motorhome chassis battery is simply wired directly to the RV and needs no special connection to talk to the systems needed for travel. The travel trailer or fifth wheel accesses that power by an electrical cord and connector called the seven pin or seven way. This harness is like the umbilical cord between the tow vehicle and the RV. It provides power to the RV marker lights, brake lights, turn signals, the backup lights, emergency flasher lights, the electric wheel brakes, and it even charges the RV coach battery. A motorhome might also use the seven pin 12 volt connection if they are hauling a trailer or towed, which is another Arvanese term that describes a towed vehicle behind the motorhome. The 12 volt DC coach battery provides power to a host of appliances and systems inside the actual RV, like the lights, ceiling vent fans, the water pump, the DSI igniter on the water heater, the furnace blower fan, life safety detectors, thermostats, the control panels for appliances like the refrigerator, slide rooms, or leveling systems, and even power some electronics. We suggest making a cheat sheet until you become familiar with what exactly is operating on 12 volts DC. You might have a single 12 volt battery for your RV or multiple batteries that are connected in a specific pattern according to the electrical needs of your RV. There are several types of batteries you might encounter in the RV space, including lead acid and lithium. Within the lead acid battery family, there are also several types, including flooded, AGM, and gel. Some lead acid batteries require servicing while others are maintenance free. Learn more about maintaining your lead acid batteries that have water fill wells in the home study course. So where are the coach batteries located? It's important to know so that you can perform periodic visual inspections of the batteries. Travel trailers are easy to spot as they're on the A-frame area on the tongue of the trailer. Fifth wheel coach batteries are in a storage compartment outside and the motorhomes vary in location either in a storage compartment or under the entry steps. The lead acid coach battery is always located outside the RV because it off gases hydrogen that is not meant for us to breathe. Lithium batteries do not off gas and might be located indoors to protect them from weather or theft. Take a look at the coach batteries on occasion to ensure the connections are tight, the battery box condition is not compromised, and there's no corrosion. Your coach battery needs to maintain a specific charge level to properly operate the 12 volt systems in the RV. How do you know if your coach battery is charged? Well, first, if none of the 12 volt systems are powering on like those overhead lights, then you might have a problem with battery charge levels. Some RVs have a monitor panel inside the rig that indicates the level of charge or even a specific voltage reading from the coach battery. This is a good time to talk about a great investment for RV owners, and that would be a multimeter. You can use this tool to test voltage at both the batteries and any outlet to protect you, the RV electrical system, and appliances. The home study course will teach you about all the functions of this important tool. When your battery is fully charged, the reading will be between 12.7 and 13.2 volts. Take note that this is when the RV is not plugged in. The voltage reading will actually be higher when the RV is plugged into 120 volts AC because your converter charger is in the mix. This is actually a good thing for the battery and does not overcharge it. You can extend the life of your coach battery by preventing it from discharging below 50% when possible, which is actually a reading of 12 volts. Allowing the battery to discharge below 50% can activate an error code and fault lights on some appliances. 
It's also an important life safety issue to keep that coach battery charged. Why? Two important items. The detectors like the LP and sometimes carbon monoxide and smoke alarms operate on 12 volts DC from the coach battery. And the second one applies to towable RVs. It also powers the emergency trailer brakes, which we will learn about in the towing and hitching module. Charging the coach battery can be done in a few ways. The coach battery can receive charge while traveling because it's connected to the starter battery. This applies to both towables and motorhomes. Keep in mind that this method tends to be a really slow one. You can also do the job with a standalone battery charger. However, the simplest way is to plug the RV into the appropriate 120 volt outlet rated for your rig, either 30 amp or 50 amp, to utilize the RV's converter charger. You'll learn more about the converter and all of its functions in the home study course.